Hello, and welcome to the kelp forest at Anacapa Island. What exactly is kelp? Kelp is a seaweed. It's also an algae, not a vascular plant. So every cell is photosynthesizing or producing energy for itself. Even though it's an algae, kelp looks similar to a tree. In fact, diving in a kelp forest is often compared to walking through a rainforest. As you look more closely though, you'll see that kelp is actually very different from a tree. Let's start down at the base of the kelp. Kelp doesn't need a root system. Since water and nutrients are absorbed by each individual cell, rather than being transported from the soil through a root system or a vascular system. What it does need, though, is an anchor to keep it attached to the rocks. And that's what this is here. The hold fast of the kelp does exactly that. Keeps it attached to the rocks so it doesn't float away. Kelp also doesn't need a trunk since it lacks a vascular system. And in fact, a trunk would be too rigid of a structure to survive in this environment. Instead, Kelp has these pliable stipes that bend and flex with the wave action. Despite being so pliable, these stipes are also very strong so that they don't break during violent storms or big swells. Attached to the stipes are the blades of the kelp that have lots of surface area to absorb nutrients and sunlight that they need to photosynthesize. Now keeping the blades and the entire structure upright are these gas-filled bladders called nematocysts. Nematocysts are filled with a mix of gas that buoy the kelp up towards the surface where it gets the sunlight it needs to photosynthesize. As you gaze up towards the surface, you can see the canopy of the kelp laid out along the surface where it collects not only sunlight for photosynthesis, but also helps slow down the wave energy in motion, which protects the structure below as well as over 800 species of fish and invertebrates that use the kelp forest as food, shelter, and as a nursery for their young. The kelp forest is a very important habitat in the world's oceans, second only to coral reefs and the amount of sea life contained within it. Be sure to come visit the kelp forest for yourself sometime.